What's up crypto junkies, Jay here and we're talking clothing. So what we got going on is you saw, it all started with a live stream where I offered 20 people free apparel, essentially. All you gotta do is pay for the shipping. So the shipping, as I've said for what, the last eight months, the shipping plus a little bit of Jay laziness has led to us not releasing the clothing. And this all to just sit here like this, which is painful every day. Painful that I see money sitting here and painful that I see what I believe to be fucking amazing clothing not being worn. That's actually the bigger issue here. So I wanna get this out. So here's what I've planned to do. You'll have already gotten the information on what we're doing. We're gonna start offering this out in small batches exclusively to the Discord community. And we're gonna start with the people that have been with us the longest, which we call our OG members. They're gonna have first crack at this thing and we're gonna do it in small batches. Okay, we're gonna have a special rate assigned for you guys. And really the biggest thing that you gotta worry about is covering the shipping and handling, which depending on where you are in the world, we're shipping out of Indonesia, understand that it'll be anywhere between 20 and $35 to ship it to you. That's not us coming up with the shipping cost. that is straight through our provider, through our shipping provider. So what this video is talking about, what we need to discuss really quick is let's talk sizing and shape of the clothing. I wanna talk about how this compares to you know, Under Armour Nike and fabrics like that and what you can expect shrink rate. So let's start with what I'm wearing. We call it an internally the Gucci print or the Gucci pattern, but it's not. It's the, the Crypto Junkies with the gold white on black. Now this black is the cotton poly. The black does shrink. Even after we've created the pattern to be pre-shrunk, you know, I don't dry any of my clothes, I hang them up, right? And then I, and then I iron them when I'm done, um, but you still do get a little bit of shrink rate, right? And especially this one is a great example because this one has gone to the wash. This one has been dried and it has been altered. When you dry something on high, I don't care what it is, it shrinks, okay, if it's got cotton. So this is what the XL now looks like. Take a good look. Look at how my armpits are draping. Look how this is still ridiculously tight on my arms while I've gotten smaller. So keep in mind that the, the cotton poly, I usually wear an XL and I've lost some weight. So when I'm at my prime and, and pumped up and big, right? An XL is actually tight on me, especially in through here, through the armpits and through the shoulders gets much tighter. Again, keep that in mind. The length stays good as you can see. The length, you always want to kind of fall over the pockets like this and it's doing that still, even after it's been altered and dried and basically ruined. As long as you don't do that out of the gates, you don't really have that problem with the cotton poly blend, okay? And the designs we've already shown them, but let me show them again. This is the, the standard Crypto Junkie logo, or design, and it just says Crypto Junkies at the bottom, okay? Then we've got this one that I've got on right now, and then we've got the blue tee with the pink design. So go ahead and let's pan down for a sec. Let's talk these and I'm gonna get on the floor here. This right here is the same fabric that we use for the Crypto Junkies design. It's literally the same, even though you see this, this is a different design on it. And this is a large. So in this fabric, which is very much just like this, but I would argue better. So it's got that stretch, right? So let's take a look. We got that stretch. It moves, okay, and it absorbs, whisks, water, and sweat much better than the cotton poly does. But this shirt stays big, okay? This specific shirt has been washed and dried, and it fits on me loose at my biggest, okay? So let that process. I just showed you the cotton poly black that um, fits tight on my physique when I'm pumped up. This, even when I'm pumped, fits loose. Keep that in mind. So there's a difference between the two and it's not because we've made the patterns different. They're actually the same pattern. It's because of the fabric itself. So what I've got with me here is this is a standard Under Armour shirt that has also gone through normal wash and dry. Now I'm gonna just lay it over the top. Nothing fancy, no gimmicks. It's also a large, but let's just see how it compares up this is round about what you get, okay? So you notice that the sleeves, we got more armpit sleeve and more arm sleeve on ours, okay? This all fits up decently well. The length is about the same on the arms and we got a sizable difference at the bottom here, which this shirt, when I wear it, doesn't even cover my pockets and my jeans. 
that's like rule of thumb, I think, for guys, is that the shirt has to cover your pockets. You can't have this guy right here popping out. Like, the shirt can't fall like, like this. That just doesn't look good. It needs to at least cover here at a minimum, okay? This does that. Even after, like I said, this has been washed and dried, and I can prove it because you see these little, these little specks here, these little bunnies. You only get that when you wash and dry clothes. So anyway, um, this is the second fabric and the, let's call it third design or first design. That's what you can expect for guys. I hope that clears it up for you with sizing. So an XL in this, I've never even put on, but I can assume it's pretty big. Um, now we've talked guys, let's talk girls. So let's come over here. Let me just pull this over, make it easy for you to see. The girls design is Similar to the guys, you know, it's like a Euro design, uh, tighter to the body, kind of follows that more V taper for our active uh, men. Same thing with women. It follows the traditional design that you're used to seeing. So it's tight through the middle and kind of bubbles out at the bottom, which we're, we're used to seeing. You can see that at H&M. Pull and Bear uh, has a similar design like this. Active tees and Nike differ a little bit uh, with women mostly because they don't do tees that often with Nike and Under Armour for women. They do kind of different designs, right? And, uh, and more like strapped, strapped designs. But this is very common pattern, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. What you can expect with this uh, fabric is that it'll, be this, it'll operate the same as what I was just saying with the guys. So it is a cotton poly. Make sure that if you are trying to dry it up a little bit to shrink it to fit, that you stick with that. And if you don't want it to, to shrink up uh, when you wash it, then you wanna make sure that you uh, don't dry it, okay? Or you dry on tumble, low. Maybe hang it and just iron it afterwards or hang it in your closet and let the wrinkles kinda, or maybe even steam it afterwards, okay? So those are all solutions that you've got. You can uh, quickly see the, the sizing here uh, on the inside. And then we do have a wash tag uh, as well. So it's just like any other standard shirt. That's what the wash tag looks like made with love in Indonesia. It tells you exactly the makeup of the piece and then how to wash it on the back, which is basically echoing what I just told you. So that's what you can expect for women's. This is again, a woman's small. And we've got small and medium for women. We actually have some men's smalls, which could also work for a woman, just not very many. That's something that you might need and we'll try and work that out for a very few orders. So for guys, we have medium, large, extra large. And for ladies, we have small and medium. And we have, uh, I'd say about 200 units that I would like to get into your hands and uh, let you guys start wearing. I'm kind of just sick of having to sit around at this point. So we're gonna start running these specials. We're gonna batch them out in about 20 people at a time, allow you to uh, finally get this stuff shipped out to you so that you can start rocking it. And what we'll probably do is we'll do some sort of contest with wearing the clothes. So we'll do some sort of social media contest with wearing the clothes, give away some prizes and some additional goodies on top of that. But there you have it. That's the sizing for both men's and women's. I hope this has helped you out. If you guys have any additional questions, just a direct message myself or contact our support team. That's it, see ya.